Split tunneling is a network feature that allows users to direct a portion of their traffic through an encrypted private network while routing the rest through the standard open internet. Wait, what? Did you get that? In this video, I'm actually gonna break this down to much simpler terms, explain why this would be of any benefit to you and the risks associated with it. Hi, I'm Josh, and there are a number of different reasons why you might want to use split tunneling, both for corporate and personal reasons, but what I don't wanna do here is get too far into some IT or technical jargon. The best way to explain split tunneling is to visualize how our devices connect to the internet. And I'm gonna use my computer as an example. Right now, my computer has a single direct connection to the internet where my data is sent and received. When you connect to a virtual private network or a VPN, you're creating an encrypted connection between your device and the VPN server. And that VPN server accesses the internet on your behalf so that every single bit of data that it sends and receives from your computer goes through that VPN server or that network server. The benefit here is that the connection between your device and the VPN server is encrypted. However, that also means that your internet speeds might be a little bit slower because it has to route through another server. And if that server has a lot of different users who are using a lot of bandwidth, it can really put a strain on that VPN server or that corporate network. And that's where split tunneling comes in. You see, when I'm connected on a split tunnel, I have two connections. One is my encrypted connection to the VPN, while on the other side, I have an open connection to the internet. Now, there's a couple benefits here. Because I have an open connection to the internet, anything that goes through that connection is faster than if it went through the encrypted network. Likewise, it saves a lot of bandwidth not sending every single thing through the encrypted network. So how does this work in real life? Well, Let's say you want to watch this YouTube video while you're working. If you make a full connection to your VPN, not only are you encrypting every single part of this video, unnecessarily I might add, but you're also putting extra strain on the network, which could be your corporate network. By using split tunneling, you can send and receive data from YouTube directly through the internet while saving only those things that are most sensitive for the encrypted tunnel. This increases your internet speeds while decreasing the network strain. Now the primary risk here is that since you have two open connections to the internet, you might accidentally send something that's encrypted out through your open connection. And once it's out there, you can't get it back. Having an open connection to the internet while maintaining an encrypted VPN connection, there's still some risk involved in that. Now this is a very simplified explanation of split tunneling, but hopefully it gives you a better framework to understand the idea and the feature. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below, like this video, and subscribe if you wanna get more great security-related content from All Things Secured.